Hey, I'm Sharon Haver. I'm the founder of FocusOnStyle.com, and today we're going to talk about the five things you need to know to really create a successful lifestyle brand. I created my website, Focus on Style, back in 1999 when my son was an infant. I basically started at the seat of my pants, and it's been with me all along through these years. Tip number one, get out of your own way. Humanize yourself. I know this one is hard. It was super hard for me. It's just too easy to be able to hide behind our business, hide behind our logo, kind of make ourselves a little like corporate. When the thing is, our target audience, our most ideal customer, our best clients, they don't want any big fake big box kind of business. They want you because we can get so caught up in all this brand persona stuff and anyone can dictate it to you, but that's not you. And what your audience wants is that authentic conversation in the comments of how you respond on social media, in your blog posts, even if you're doing videos like this, just be you, be real. And remember, you are your own best asset. Tip number two, make it personal. Take them along for the ride. Share your surroundings with them. Now, of course, it's easier when you're out and about on the street. I mean, one of my first videos ever, I was at the dog park. I didn't have any makeup on. I did have sunglasses, though. And I was watching Mr. Poodle play, and I put my elbow up on the back of the bench, and I pulled out my cell phone, and I did a quick tips video, and I shared some business information, and I made it really real and relatable because it was real and relatable. I was at the dog park, right? And it started an entire quick tip series for me. It's one of the best things you can do to bring people into your world. And one of the things that happened in 2020 was that we're used to watching broadcasters broadcast from home, right? So we see all these people with their bookshelves behind them in their home, in their living room, and that is the new normal. But again, you're taking them along, you're sharing a part of you, you're personalizing it. Make sure people get a sense of who you are. We crave connection and when we crave a bond and that's what makes you magnetic to your audience. Tip number three, know what your target audience wants before they even know they need it. Now, the easiest way to do that would be like, just ask them, right? No, not so easy on that one because they might not even know, right? So what you need to do is have conversations with them and see who they like, who they're interested in, what the other person's brand is like. Number four, Visualize your perfect workday and create a business that honors it. Now remember, this is a lifestyle brand we're creating here, right? So you don't want to have a business that runs you. You want your life to run in an aligned way with your business. You want to be able to know the hours of the day of what you want to do. Do you want to go to the gym a few days a week? Do you want to have lunch with a friend a few days a week? Do you want to be like me and maybe go off shopping an afternoon every other week? Whatever it is, you need to figure out your lifestyle and how your business can fit in. Before you decide to do your next big program, your next great idea, your next fabulous offer, really write down the steps of how it takes to go from inception to fulfillment. And then from each step, dig deep. Really make your own like, you know, SOP on it of what you need to do. I got to go from here to there to there. And when it starts getting crazy and you're going, oh my God, that's going to take over my life. Stop, pull back and then figure out what do I need to pull out? What do I need to pull back on that allows me to go to the gym every day that allows me not to be working and pulling an all-nighter that allows me to be able to hire that support person who can help on that end and then once you do that you'll find a business that really absolutely works in alignment with who you are and how you want to design your day Number five, be nimble and flexible to stay both relevant and charged. So you want to stay charged in your business, right? You want to make sure that every day, even if your commute is no much, not much further than going from the bedroom to your office in the next room or going from your kitchen to maybe the other side of the kitchen countertop where your laptop is, you still want to be charged up about working. You still want to be able to find the time for yourself, right, to design your perfect day. But you also also want to be excited and not feel that even though you're running this business in your home, 
that it's dragging you down. So you want to make sure you're doing things that are new. And new is one of the greatest and biggest advertising and marketing words ever because people want the excitement, the freshness of what's new out there. So you don't have to change everything. You don't have to throw out the baby with the bathwater. You just need to pivot a little bit, to tweak it a little bit, to repurpose it, to reiterate so that it's something is fresh and looked at with different modern eyes. <laughs> For more tips and resources to help you and your business get out there to grow a successful lifestyle brand and see what I'm doing, go over to FocusOnStyle.com. To keep the conversation going even deeper, follow me on social media. My handle is at FocusOnStyle and I'd love to see you on Instagram. Bye-bye and have a fabulous day.